And it's a testament to Cal Rugby ethos because continually year after year we put out USA Internationals and that's what we strive to do as a program and for Cal Rugby to get potentially get another Olympian in a sport that hasn't had one in nearly 100 years is something special for our program, for our brotherhood. I mean, I'm not just representing our university, our program, but all the guys that have gone before me and that will come after me that will have a chance to go to the Olympics is uh, it's something to look up to. It's something, you know, growing up, I watched the Olympics as a kid and that's what I wanted to do is be an Olympian and now I have that opportunity. It's kind of at my fingertips I and mean, to be able to almost reach out and touch that is something special that I'm going to feel with all of my Cal Rugby brethren. And we all did it. We've all done it. And we're all going to get to do it. So that's what I'm looking forward to most is sharing this with the people that I shared the field with, the people that went before me and the guys that are come after me. And I mean, we're a rugby field. It's, one of the top fields I've played on in the world. I mean, I've played at Twickenham and Hong Kong Stadium and all over the place, but it's, it's a small town feel and a big time atmosphere. And that's what gets you ready to play on an international stage. And the most important years of my life, kind of 18 to 22, 23 years old, were spent here being molded by Coach Clark, Coach Billups, Coach Fagoni, uh, Big Mac, I mean, a lot of the things that they taught me are still with me today. A lot of the core values of Cal Rugby are still with me and are, are being brought onto the USA Rugby scene. And the, the Simpson High Performance Center is the top facility I've ever been in. Guys like Dave and Brittany and Bryn and Ryan Cobb and all those guys that have been around, I mean, it's, they know more of you as a person than as an athlete with Courtney Dolder and now uh, more recently Nick McNeil, the academic advisors that kind of said, hey, you're gonna come in, going into the study hall down at uh, the Cesar Chavez Center and kind of putting all that work in, get into class, get into training. It's the number one school in the world to me. Whether that's public university, private university, Ivy League, whatever it is, it's the number one school in the world.